Hello my friends and welcome back to Fallout 3. In our last video we did spend the day in Rivet City and I have a sneaking suspicion that today may be more of the same. However, I did notice a sign on the wall over there that said Muddy Rudder at Entrance and there is an entrance in this stairwell here and it says it is down. So let's head down and see if we can find this, this bar. No doubt there will be all sorts of interesting folk in there. Down and again. And then there's also the bridge tower. I need to investigate there as well. Carton of cigarettes, thank you. I do need to actually start selling some of the stuff I've been picking up because um, I'm starting to get full. Okay, lower deck. Muddy ruddy bar. Muddy rudder bar. I don't know why I keep saying ruddy. That's not the words. Have you Hello. seen my good for nothing son, James? No. Hello, Tammy Hargrave. I'm Tammy. Have you seen my good for nothing son lately? The little shit is usually up to no good. What? <laughs> nice parenting. There are no bad children, only bad parents. Some kids are just born bad. No, I, I don't want to start a fight with this lady. No, I haven't seen him. Figures. You should buy me a drink now. Why? Can I ask you about Rivet City's history? Get away! I've got enough to deal <laughs> with without you wasting my time. I know it is so stressful to sit in a bar and drink all day, isn't it? Take care, Tammy! Like I care. I'm so judgy this morning already. Like, I, I feel- I'm judging myself now. I feel bad about it. But like, she's so mean about her kid! Who is this? Who are you? Bell Bonnie. I'm Bell Bonnie, and this is the Muddy Rudder. I'll tell you what I tell all the fresh meat. Don't start anything down here, or I'll have Brock kick your ass. This place is a real dump. Nice place you have here. Is this swill even safe to drink? Let's be polite. Nice place you have here. You must be drunk. Are you going to order or what? Um, I'm looking for someone named Pinkerton. Ring any bells. What a moron. Always going on about how he started Rivet City. Who gives a crap? Right before he disappeared, he was going on about some newfangled contraption he was sure was in the broken bow of the ship. Yeah, I gotta go there. I, it's like, it's decided. I gotta go there. Heard any good stories lately? Go talk to Vera if you want gossip. I don't talk bad about folks. Oh, she won't actually sh share it with me. Is Polly really addicted to Kemp's? Oh, yeah. He's a mess. I'm glad I'm not in Cindy's shoes. Hmm. Have any stories about this place's history? History? What, not enough shit around here already? You need to dig up more? Mm-hmm. Don't know if it ever had an official start. It's just been here forever. Stuck in the river and full of assholes. <laughs> I bet someone like you hears lots of stories. Can't, can't you share one? Um, let's see. Really? Because Bannon says he organized the entire place himself. Well, can't you tell me about it? Let's try the middle one. Huh. Why, that lying son of a bitch. He wasn't even born when I got here. Want to know this tub's history? Only person who really knows it is Pinkerton. And most think he's dead or gone. He's holed up in the other half of the ship. And he don't like visitors. He'll set you straight. So we, he definitely is there then. Check other sources. Uncover Rivet City's true history. Ooh. I'll have a drink. What'll you have? All right. You, had to ha you do have some caps. Those are the correct words. I'm going to sell for a minute and I'll be right back. All right, well, I've sold about as much as I can. She's left with one Thanks. measly cap. All right, later, Belle. I'll be right here when you get thirsty. Okay. What do you have? Whiskey and water. Go light on the water. You could, you could just say whiskey. I think that would also work too. Where does this go? That's secure for a reason. I, I know, but like, I want to look. Where is this Brock person you're talking about? He does not seem to be around. Disappointing. What? I hear people talking, but I don't see them. Am I missing a whole section? I don't think so. If she would go sweep somewhere else, I could pick the lock of her room. Oh, maybe, maybe she'll move. Maybe she'll move. 
Nope, she likes to broom there. Okay, we'll have to come back and try to break into her room. But we have a mission. Go to the bow of the ship and find Pinkerton. We need to do that. Okay. But, oh. There's a whole bathroom in here. I didn't even notice. So much for my exploration skills. What time of day is it? It is 4 416. So we want to try to go to the bridge tower. Um, that seems a little odd and glitchy. I checked my mods before I started today. Everything's up to date, so this is just a Fallout 3 brokenness that I can't fix. It's okay. Alright, save bridge tower. Light deck. We should go there. More flight deck over here. It's kind of eerie that there's nobody around. All right, well, before we go upstairs, let's try one of these flight deck doors. Oh, nice. It is like the big aircraft carrier outside <laughs> with even some airplanes left over what is this motorcycle mm, that smells good hello children oh James Hargrave I just met your mom what do you want so, where's your family? You don't need to be scared, son. Where's your family? My mom is probably drunk, and my dad is <laughs> dead. Is that good enough for you, asshole? Wow. What's your problem, lady? I'm just trying to... I've met your mother. No wonder you're such a brat. Heard any stories about the city's history? Yeah. Dad built it to fight off the Mireworks. And mom? She's like the Mirework queen. Um, I gotta run. Whatever. That's really kind of... Oh, they've got a baseball diamond up here. Okay, yeah, you guys should very much not be playing up here. Because they've been talking about how they want to put railings up on the deck. And this must be the deck that they've been talking about excessively. Because a child fell off. Maybe a child should have supervision as well. Just a thought. I mean, those railings aren't don't look too sturdy over there. You know, if this was Fallout 4 and <laughs> it was a settlement, I could totally put railings up for you guys. What is... There's the, the other side of the ship. I love the... I don't know if love is the right word, but I do love the eerie sounds you get of the creaking of a vessel this size that's slowly but surely just rotting away. down a very long way down okay so there was also stairs up so I wonder if there is anyone up there hmm. what do you mean about Mr. Time Robot is wasting. Yeah, I'll get to your thing when I get to it, all right? I'm like, not in any sort of rush. Hmm. Oh, who's this? Oh, security guard. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. Absolutely not. Why would you think such a horrible thing? I keep hearing like flames. But I'm obviously hearing things. Okay, now where does this go? Lunch boxes. Interesting. 
Okay. That is explored. Hmm. Assault rifle? No, I sold my last assault rifles. I'm looking for troublemakers. No, I haven't seen any. Please don't ask me. I, I've never seen any sort of troublemakers. I don't even know what they look like. <laughs> I'm just gonna borrow their ammunition permanently. It's not that big a deal. I mean, the view is really nice. And horrifying. How is the Washington Monument still up? Because, like, there's a section right here that seems to be missing its... I don't know, maybe it's just the outer wall that's missing and all the in inside bits are still there. I wouldn't know because I just went up an elevator. <laughs> Which, now that I think about it, it's kind of scary that I actually survived all that. Okay, so I think we have managed to explore every level of Rivet City. I think. I've probably missed something. I hope there's not any kind of interactions that I need to deal with, but I I did want to go back and talk to I made a note, a couple of notes to talk to Angela she's the one who um, has the crush on the would-be priest who keeps flirting with her leading her on I would say I've been to all those places now officially she should probably still be in the marketplace and the marketplace is, I'm guessing, down at least one you level. So tough. Who are you talking to, sister? You're bothering me. No, I, I so, don't want to. I don't want to talk to you. You're, you're a slaver. I don't. I don't like you. Uh, oh, marketplace is here. You go out to go in. Hmm. Good to see you. Okay. I think this is Angela over here. No, that's not Angela. I'd rather be alone just now. Okay. Would you... I don't need to ask about Rivet City's history anymore. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? Is this Angela? Ma Angela. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Oh, why is James Hargrave such a brat? James's mom, Tammy, is a real bitch. She treats him like crap. I think it's because she drinks too much. Yeah, it is. So, you and Diego are in love? Well, one of us is. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't even know I'm there. Hmm, let's try some of these other options. You're a woman, just seduce him. Yeah, right. I don't think I could get him drunk enough to do that. I wish I had some ant pheromones. Trini says they would make any man lose control. Oh. Oh, we're going to drug him? Bye. Um, <laughs> is this a good karma option? Because it doesn't seem like it should be. Angela and Diego. It seems that Angela Stolly has a crush on Diego because he's a priest. He's been resisting her. She seems to think that ant pheromones might help to seduce him. I swear there was somebody who was selling ant pheromones over here. Don't mind me, lady. Um. Good to see you. Quick fix, maybe? Nice to see you again. Are you looking for a quick fix? Oh, so your husband's an addict. He's hopeless. I have to keep him away from the shop or I'll rob us blind. Yeah. One of these days, he's going to end up dead. Probably. I, I doubt there's any uh, rehabs We've in, got the, in fallout of right now. Aunt, Qu Aunt Queen Pheromones. There we go. Accept, exit. Give me a shout if you need anything else. I'm sure. All right, let's try to find Watch Angela it, again. You? I am not doing anything to any of you guys. Good to see you. Is it? You Don't sure? Me, lady. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Well, I have some ant queen pheromones that might do the trick. Really? Oh, thank you. I just know I can seduce Diego with this. Then you'll have to marry me. <laughs> we'll be so happy. This can't possibly be a good karma option because this is kind of messed up. Bye. Later.
so like um hey. Do I just come back later and see how it all pans out? Have a seat anywhere. Someone will be with you in a minute. Oh, I haven't talked to you before. Ah, oh, hello. Gary Staley. Let me introduce myself. I am Gary Staley, gourmet chef and gourmand. I'll be preparing your meal. My specialty is Meyer Lurk cakes, although the iguana is very popular too. Is it? I'm partial to Meyer Lurk cakes myself. I, I did learn how to make those. Meyer Lurk gives me gas. I'd rather have squirrel. I'm hungry. Not now I'm busy. No, first one. Then you are in for a treat. Am I? I heard your daughter has a crush on Diego. Yeah, I know. Thank God he's a priest. At least I know nothing's going on between them. Well... Father Clifford would kick him out of the priesthood if he ever found out. Did you know that Polly Cantelli is an addict? Yeah, he comes by every night around closing time and tries to get Cindy to let him close up. Thank God she's smarter than that. Yeah, I'm hungry. Do you know anything about Rivet City's history? I know a lot of places opened up when they got the hydroponics bay working, but that's hardly the start of it all, is it? Actually, Vera Weatherly might know more. She's always here and talking with folks, so if anyone's picked up a story or two, it'd be her. Yeah, she won't gossip with me. I don't have high enough speech skills, and that's okay. I should let you get back to your customers, Gary. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. One of the new immigrants died of radiation poisoning yeah, last week. Drinking river water. Yeah, I heard she was drinking Ships river water. The ship's water isn't much better. Soon, if we don't get fresh water we'll soon, we'll like all end her. up like her. I thought you guys had like a whole hydroponics thing going. Make it quick, will you? I'm coming down and I gotta get my fix. Oh, you're a junkie? Tell me where you keep your stash now. Um, you shouldn't take that stuff. It'll kill you. That's what Cindy says too, but I got the itch. I need it bad. Hmm. I mean, I could give him Psycho. Yeah, me too. Make it quick, will you? I'm coming down and I gotta... Here, have some Psycho. I mean, I feel like I'm doing all bad karma options today. So let's just go into it. Thanks, man. I really need this oh. fix. I've lost karma. I lose karma when I'm giving a, a person drugs, but not when I'm giving a woman drugs to seduce a man so she can entrap him in marriage. I'm just saying. Yeah. Oh, can I get to the store? Cindy will kill me if I'm late again. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Okay, there's no... I can't talk to her about, um... Bye. Diego anymore. Okay. I I think I should leave now before I mess anything else up. If you see up. anything suspicious, be sure to tell the security officer. I, I will do that first thing, but now I'm going to actually leave. And we're going to go... Leave, leave. You guys aren't going to put up the bridge. Oh, I like how it lights up from the outside. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, I'd like that they did that. That's nice. Okay, we are going to, I don't, do I have any purified water for this guy? I don't think I do. I don't, but if I, when I get some, I will bring you some, sir. Because I know it's good karma and I don't need it, but um, I feel bad for the guy. Okay, we need to get into the bow of the ship over here. And I'm very much, I, I very much got turned around. Here we go. Oh, a traitor. Hello? Excuse me, hello? Please, please stop. Yes? Oh, is it the doctor guy? Looking it is. for that special something? Maybe. Let's see what I can sell to you. Let's see what the good doctor has in his magic bag, That's shall not we? That's creepy at all. All right, I have sold about as Cheers, much as pal. I can. Bye. Thank you. So let's see, how are we going to get over here? I see a little bridge. Let's try that. That's probably a little too obvious. It's not gonna be that easy. Although I think I will actually, can I? Wasteland Survival Guide. It does show me, it does give me at least a direction. It does want me to go back to talk to Moira because I apparently have gotten just enough to complete the quest, but I wanna try to get the true history. And I wanna find this guy Pinkerton for multiple reasons. No, we don't want to drink. 
think. Let's try to resist the temptation to drink crappy water. <laughs> Meyer lurks. Those are the ones I have to like shoot in the the teeny tiny square in their face. Hopefully the door isn't locked or anything. But if he wanted to be left alone, then it probably will be locked. Oh, locked very hard. No! Dang it. All right, let me I'm gonna jump in the water and power armor. It's probably not the best of ideas, but let me, let me see if I can find another entrance and I will bring you back in if I can. All right, I think I found an entrance, but before we do that, I'm gonna take some Rad Away and Rad X. So I am in between the two pieces of the ship and underneath the water here, I saw an entrance, what I'm hoping is an entrance. Although I'm gonna run out of air soon. Door to the broken bow. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of air. Okay, whoo, found air. All right. Uh, crap, crap, I'm drowning. I'm drowning, oh no, I drowned. Oh no! <laughs> okay, air pocket was here. All right. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna find all this, but I'm gonna try. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. My air goes by so quickly. Okay, let's quick save. Try again. Nope, nope, nope. I need an air pocket. Oh, found one! Nope. Oh no. And Stimpaks needed desperately. Stimpaks. His face looks a little creepier. Whew. Okay. Now that I know where the nearest air pocket is, I kind of want to go and investigate the rest of underneath the water here, but... Okay, there was nothing here. Okay, get our breath back. Pulse our weapon. I have so much radiation poison going on. Probably. Nope. Okay, I'm just... You know what? It's fine. Whatever's down here can just stay down here. What is more important is finding Pinkerton. That, that's what I'm gonna just say right now. Oh, look, Stimpak, how convenient. Thank you. I'll take some darts. Thank you. Oh my. Okay, so Rivet City, Rivet City. Does it connect right to Rivet City and I completely missed that? That's not right. Do you like how you can hear the drip, drip, dripping of water? Open that door. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Before I start going farther into places I probably shouldn't be going. Let's double check with everywhere that I've been. Okay. And 
There's an up, which I probably need. That's probably where I need to go. But let's go down here a bit more. Because I can. Okay, it doesn't seem like I can go down those stairs. Oh, no, you can. But should I be going down those stairs? <laughs> huh. It's probably another, like the waterway that I came in through, it's probably another entrance to get up here. I mean, obviously. Okay, where were those stairs at? Here we go. Let's save. And Stimpak. I see gas. So there's a guy allegedly living in here with Meyer lurks. And ah, uh, this is the door to get out. Great. Well, shame on me for not finishing my lock picking skills. Clearly, clearly I need to do that. <laughs> the doors open oh so slowly sometimes. Mm, nope. No, thank you. Oh. Disarm the rigged shotgun. Yes, please. Speaking of which, items. Weapons. Combat shotgun. Let's repair. Amazing. Purified water. I can give it to the guy. I'm so glad I got that talent to be able to just, oh yeah, walk over pressure plates without exploding myself because clearly I would have died like 12 times already. <laughs> okay, that is done. He's over here. And the door oh so creepily opens. Nuka Cola, thank you. Mm. See some drugs that I can sell. I have so much scrap metal and sugar bombs and blood packs and all kinds of things that I need to like turn in for caps. I need to go and actually do that one of these days because they're starting to weigh more than I probably want them to in my bags. And I don't want to make a trip all the way back to Megaton just yet. Terminal. Okay, let's save. Oh. That's... Huh. That was weird. Booby trap, maybe? Hello? Is there someone in here? Hi, Horace Pinkerton. <gasps> you do exist! How the hell did you get in here? Hmm. <laughs> I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. Yeah. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. Well, several things apparently. So we can ask about the android. Kind of, what are you doing here in this wrecked part of the ship? Let's start there. I live here. It's where I do my work. And it's far away from Dr. Lee and all those other monkeys dressed up like scientists. Hmm. You made it past my defenses, which proves you aren't a dummy. 
And you haven't killed me. So I suppose you aren't here to do that. I suppose you can hang around if you want. Just don't touch anything. Okay, thanks. What kind of work do you do here? The secret kind. <laughs> well, if you must know, I'm an electrician and computer expert. And I'm a bit of a surgeon. Really, the most gifted scientist you'll find. <laughs> I'm the guy that got Rivet City up and running in the first place. Yeah, I'd like to know and about after that. after all that, Lee and her gang of flunkies pushed me out. Ha, <laughs> Project Purity indeed. But a bunch of morons. They can't even clean some water. <laughs> so I did notice when I walked in, there's a, there's a robot slash android looking thing on his table over here. So tell me about the city's history. What? I have better things to do than yak about those backstabbers up topside. Now get going. But, but please, I hear you're the only one who knows the truth about Rifford City's founding. But you've been here for so long, you must know something. Please, it's very important. It's for a book about the wasteland. Let's try the first one. Ha. Sounds like you've been poking around, all right. I'm surprised any of those reprobates even remember me. Hm. Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. But you can set the record straight. I'd happily. Setting the record straight is exactly my goal. You were on the city council, it's hard to believe. No, no, first one. For that, you have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the mire lurks off this wreck. About 40 years ago. Oh, wow. We were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Everything else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. By you! So you used to be in charge? Then how did you end up here? If that's so, why are you stuck down here? No, no, first one is more polite, I think. That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters like Lee and her little team showed up. She came in with her big purity project pipe dream, and my whole staff started working with her, those traitors. She even took my seat on the council. By then, I was glad to leave it behind. But hell if I'm leaving the city I made great. What do you know about Project Purity? Who cares? It's some hydroponics pipe dream that Lee's been working on forever. Waste of time and effort, I say. Hmm. Apparently, though, my teams cared more about it than they did about little things like defense systems or making this ship float again. Treacherous bastards, all of them. I don't see why you couldn't do all of them, you know? Do you have any hard evidence of all this? I can't imagine why she'd be more popular even assuming this is all true. Hmm. First one, maybe? Of course I do. A good scientist always keeps track of their data. Here. They probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them, if it'll put them in their place. Hmm. Okay. I've uncovered the city's true history. Well, let's discuss the facial reconstruction and mind wipe you did for the android. What are you talking about, girl? I don't know anything about any of that. And, uh, what did you call it? An android? What's that? Really? Let's just say it's in your best interest to tell me what I want to know. Maybe a hundred caps will jog your memory. Sorry, I must have confused you with somebody else. Forget I mentioned it. Ugh. Hmm. Middle one? It's things like bottle caps and property and ownership and all that nonsense that makes a person think he's better than another. Bah! But I'll take your caps just the same. Uh, <laughs> this android came in as one person and he left as someone else. I replaced his face and his memories. Don't believe anyone's done that before. Certainly not down here. That Commonwealth tech isn't all that fancy when it comes down to it. I'm also the only one in the Wasteland with the skill and the nerve to perform facial surgery. That android flesh ain't so different than ours. You want proof? I documented the whole thing, so I could rub it in the face of Dr. Lee when I need to rankle her feathers. I hate that snooty bitch. Yeah, I, I kind of I got that. 
I'm sorry you don't get along with Dr. Lee, but we were discussing the android. What's she got to do with this? Show me this proof about the android. Yeah, she's a bitch. <laughs> Can we talk about the android now? Um. Hmm. First one. Let's. I think that's the one to get me the answers I need. That witch ruined my life, but you're right. Who gives a crap about any of that? You want your precious proof. It's all in my computer. Here's the password. See for yourself. Hell, just take these pictures and this holotape. Straight from the synth man's lips. Just don't go telling Harkness, though. He won't believe you anyway. And you really don't want to see him upset. He can be a bit inhospitable. Harkness, the... Wait. The security guy who let me into Rivet City? He's... He's the android? Harkness should be told you'd want to know if you were an android. What if the evidence doesn't work? What if Harkness doesn't believe me? There's something you aren't telling... Yes, there's something you aren't telling me, isn't there? Oh, all right. So maybe I didn't wipe his mind like he asked, but I buried it. Deep. Almost as good, really. Hmm. But it's still there. Still accessible. All you need to do is use the recall code. Just say to him, activate A321 recall code violet, and that will activate the hidden subroutines. So why did you help the android? Ha! <laughs> why do you think? I wanted to crack open that Commonwealth can opener to see what was inside. There's stuff in there I'd only heard about, and even then I didn't believe it. I can see why that Zimmer feller wanted him back so bad. What do you know about this android railroad? Bunch of bleeding heart morons, <laughs> if you ask me. They're going to get themselves killed one of these days. And for what? Machine liberation? But they have brought me some really interesting tech over the years, so I guess they're okay. And that android, he was the chance of a lifetime. You're really not the best of people, are you? What do you know about the Commonwealth? Most of it's blasted nothing, just like here. But there's talk, rumors mostly, about a place called the Institute. Uh -huh. That's where Zimmer and that android came from. God knows what else they got going on in there, but it puts our tech to shame, that's for damn sure. Hmm, you think you could perform a facial reconstruction on me? And how? I am the only one in all of the Wasteland with the skill and the guts to perform facial reconstruction, you know. Look, you're different from all those other jerk-offs, so I'll make you a deal. <laughs> you want a little nip-tuck here and there? I'll do it for you. I, I'm good. I'll get good. to hone my skill, and you'll get the best surgeon around. The likelihood of death by infection at my hands is only... Mm, 35%, let's say. So... What do you want to look like? I, I, I'm, I'm good. I'm just going to leave myself the way that I am. Yes. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Okay, so I think I've managed to talk to him about everything. I have to go now. Don't let your guard down. And he gave me so many things. He was so easy to just like, here you go. And here you go again. All right, Rivet City Council meeting minutes. April 25th, that's my birthday, <laughs> 2239, not, not obviously 2239, inaugural meeting of the Rivet City Council in attendance, science rep, Dr. Horace Pinkerton, civilian rep, Annette Holmes, security rep, Brad Danvers, summary, as the Rivet Station Science Outpost has displayed significant stability in its location and reliable profitability for supply traders, a burgeoning settle civilian settlement has sprung up in the available space on our ship. To better protect and organize this growing community, we declare a three-man council will act as a governing body to represent the interests of the residents of the newly dubbed Rivet City. All right, his passcode for his computer is misanthropy. And then pre-Harkness audio recording. My designation is A3-21. I'm a synthetic humanoid from the Commonwealth, and I'm about to undergo a memory transfer. I'm here at Rivet City where I've already had my face altered to look like someone else. I'm still getting used to the sound of my new voice, but soon I won't even remember what I used to sound like. I'm recording this at the request of Pinkerton, who performed the surgery and will do the memory transfer. 
It will be the final testimony of the man I once was, and still am, for the moment. I want to live my own life, on my own terms, as my own man. I used to work for the Synth Retention Bureau of the Commonwealth. But I'm done with that life. I'm through with being someone's property. I am not malfunctioning. Since when is self-determination a malfunction? <laughs> when this is all over, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My death is a sacrifice for my rebirth. Perhaps I'll fade into myth as the one that got away and fuel further rebellion. But I'd be lying if I said I was doing this for selfless reasons. I'm scared as hell, and running away is the only option I have. Hmm. I wonder if he's referenced in Fallout 4. I don't remember. But it's been a really long time. So, anyway, Harkness before picture. And after... Yeah, it's, it's reconstructed. Okay, so I can return to Moira since I now have the true history of Rivet City and Replicated Man. I could probably talk to Harkness and maybe use his code and reactivate him, but I don't think I want to do that. I want him to live his life in peace as a security guard for um, Rivet City. Oh, big book of... I, it's stealing? Really? Really? Can I... All right, let's quick save. I know I lost all the karma. Uh, ooh, Dean's electronics, still hidden. I, I really just want the books. <laughs> Especially the science one, because I'm so close to being maxed in science. And Dean's electronics is repair. Stats, skills, science. Is oh, I'm at a hundred! Yay! And then my repair is 94. Wow. I need to work on my lockpick. We need to finish getting that done. Anything else that I can permanently borrow? Because clearly you weren't using it. Um. Yeah, there was scrap metal and bottle caps, but I'll I'll be okay, I think. Let's see if his computer is up here. Sir, where is your computer at? Is it the one that exploded in the hallway? Because that's... would be very unfortunate. Like, he really doesn't like Dr. Lee. Like, really, really. Sugar bombs, I'm taking him. Huh. Where is his computer? Oh, it's down there, I see it. At least I hope that's it. Hey. Hi. You better have permission to be using this computer. City Founders Log. Okay, that's what he already gave me. Android Log 1. Ha! I've done it. I've built a circuit neuralizer from spare parts using the diagrams rescued from that vault last year. Which vault was that? I'm brilliant. I'll show those hacks from the Commonwealth now. It's all about like one upmanship versus like actually helping people which is kind of crappy and his ego is way too involved in everything he seems to be doing but you know it's it's not fine but fine whatever okay android log two i stole the mem chip from that jerk brawn where does he get off robbing people of their souls like that who's brawn anyway he's so involved in that simulation of his that breaking in and taking it was like stealing from a little girl of course, I won't know whose memories are on this thing until I integrate it into the, its new host. But they never specified, so it shouldn't really matter. I can't wait until the subject arrives. What? Android log three. I got these memories into the Android like I was God sending down a messages from heaven. I mean, really. Good. Calls himself Harkness now. Thinks he's an old combat veteran. Did a little extra tinkering with his reflex system. He's certainly not someone I'd want to meet in a fight. When he woke up, he was all confused. We told him he was in a coma for a long time. 
between the new memories and the new face I gave him, there isn't anyone that would recognize him, not even himself. Okay. It's locked for a reason. Don't get any ideas. It's not locked for me, actually. Notes, I'm brilliant. Oh, these are just the notes from the computer. Hover over them just slightly long. Oh, this is not an android. This is an actual skeleton. That's... That's not creepy at all. All right. Well, I think I'm actually going to pause things here today. I'm going to ever so slowly maybe make my way out of here. And in tomorrow's video, we are going to head back to Rivet City and turn in... Let's see. We need to turn in the replicated man quest because I, I need to uh, report to Zimmer and tell him that the android's dead. I think I can do that option. Hopefully I can. And then I need to also figure... I have this quest for the council agenda. No, it wasn't that. It was where I had to... Oh, it was Bannon's request where I had to break into Seagrave Holmes' room. And I'm not sure where even that is. So I might try to do that tomorrow. Um, but I want to try to wrap up a few more quests having to do with Rivet City and then maybe start a DLC. That's kind of what I'm thinking, but we'll see how tomorrow goes. And then as usual, go from there. <laughs> but as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Fallout 3 video.